dun sa aking Liz Tech channel. So, nandito naman ulit sa Liz for another video. Last year, guys, as you remember, we were able to test the Vivo V25e, one of the Vivo V25 series. And we enjoyed its cool and unique photochromic technology design that makes it stand out among the others, as well as its performance. And now this year, we are lucky, guys, that we will be able to test the newest launch Vivo V27 as one of the Vivo V27 series. And I'm excited and curious about this device, particularly its camera, guys, since they call it the Aura Portrait Master. Para sa akin, it's really promising, no? Kasi Gen Zs nowadays are really fond of using flash to capture portraits and selfies during their nighttime activities. Kaya naman, this Vivo V27's Aura Portrait algorithm feature will be a game changer. Let's all find out about it, how it works, and what else this device can offer by watching this video till the end. Right there guys, you can see the Aura Portrait Algorithm feature. I find this cute because it gives off a studio mirroring light vibe. As you can see, it truly really plays a very important role in the smartphone's main camera for portrait shot since it adds light to create a more even and soft lighting effect, which is perfect for all the people who are fond of portrait night photography. And para sa akin, it saves more time since you don't have to go to studio. Para lang you can take a good portrait shot. And to be honest, not all smart phones at this price point can produce the same quality in low light portrait shots as this device does. So later in this video guys, I will show you how to use this feature. But first, let's see what's in store from its box. We have the unit. We also have here the clear case and of course yung kanyang charger and ang kanyang USB type C na charging cable. Plus etong heart shape pin ejector. Napakakit naman ito. Ayan nakita niyo na accessories. Puntahan muna natin tong camera features niya mismo. So there makikita niyo nga diyan yung para Ring. Yan po yung Aura Portrait Algorithm feature. Ito po yung kanilang customized flash para sa portrait din. Ang maganda dito sa Aura Portrait Algorithm feature nila guys is nagbibigay siya ng clear, natural looking at high quality yung mga portraits nyo even sa low light. Pati yung mga eyes nyo nagiging brighter siya sa low light. ba usually yung normal shots na naman sa portrait is hindi na ma-appreciate pati yung eyes, pati yung color, yung tone ng image. Eto guys, because of this Aura Portrait Algorithm feature, mas nag-enhance yung image quality. Mas nagiging maganda siya. Para ka na nga talagang nasa studio. Kapag gamitin mo tong bagong feature niya. And then apart from that, itong Vivo Portrait naman nila, it gives HD natural looking. Kung makita niya sa mga portraits dyan, stunning yung photo pero natural lang. Kaya ganun kaganda yung mga photos kasi meron din po siyang 50MP Sony IMX 766V camera sensor. Then ang maganda dito is meron siyang 50MP autofocus vlogging camera din sa so pwedeng gamitin pang vlog. Perfect din itong 50MP nila sa mga mahilig mag selfies or group picture lang lalo na kapag nasa party party or nighttime activities kayo. Then, ayan, another thing guys is meron din tong OIS plus EIS dual ultra stabilization. Maganda yung video niya guys kasi it is stable. Meron din po siyang feature for low light na maging maganda pa rin yung kuha mo kahit gabi na. Meron siyang hybrid image stabilization then So kahit you're walking in low light, sa so strolling through the city at night, maganda pa rin yung video mo guys. Apart from that, speaking of low light, ang maganda din dito kay Vivo V27 is may siyang super night mode. Itong super night mode naman guys, it gives a brighter and more details photo, less noise, and higher dynamic range na siya. It preserves the details in dark and even in bright area. Yung XD Arden guys, maganda din siya kasi di ba usually kapag sa party area may mga lights sa likod, tapos kapag mo picture ka hindi na ma-appreciate yung kinukuhanan maganda nito kasi may XDR din siya mas magiging vibrant yung image mismo, hindi yung sa likod na light okay, so hindi siya ma-overpower 
ng backlight or even yung darkness, di ba? So, maganda. Another thing is, hindi lang din sa photo ang super night, guys. Pati sa video, meron din. So, pwede ka mag-video na mas magiging brighter and mas magiging clear yung vlog mo at night. Mas ang bukey portrait video din. Para kayong naka-DSLR, pero phone lang ang gamit ko dyan, guys. So, it gives a flare effects on night photographs. Mas magiging noticeable yung scenes na gusto mong kuhanan, where the main subject should be highlighted, and the background is mabiblur talaga. And apart from that, guys, hindi naman lahat is fond of raw na mga video. Gusto nila na maging creative. Maganda kasi may mga film lots din sila na pwede nyo nang i-apply kung gusto nyo maging creative sa mga videos nyo. So there, makakapag-shoot ka ng style yung gusto mong video. You can get movie textures and tones with ease. Ayan, meron silang 8 built-in stylish film tone templates, guys. That makes your video more creative with less hassle. Meron din silang vlog movie feature, guys, where you can get different vlogging modes. You can create vlog with ease. Perfect to for aspiring content creators then. <laughs> Ayan. So, malalabas mo dyan yung pagiging creative mo sa vlog mo, even sa night. Ayan. So, now guys, alam ko sa inyo is so curious on how to use our portrait algorithm feature. Para lang din gumamit kayo ng flash actually. Pagpunta nyo sa photo nyo, rear cam nyo, tap nyo lang niyang parang lightning symbol. I-on mo lang. Flash always on or pwedeng i-off lang. Or naka-auto na siya. At ayan, ganyan lang kasimple gamitin ng aura portrait algorithm feature. And even sa video guys, you can use this feature too at simple lang din on how. Tap nyo lang yung parang lightning na symbol at yun na yan. Kita nyo naman dyan sa tutorial. So yun, nakita nyo po yung samples, ang ganda nga ng portrait shots nyo sa night. Parang deserve nyo talaga ng tawagin the Aura Portrait Master. Sa sobrang ganda ng mga portrait shots ko dyan. So parang feeling mo nasa studio ka na. Dito ko lang yung nakikita sa Vivo smartphones. Yung mga ganyang klaseng portrait shots. Now sa kanya design naman guys, ito si Vivo V27 na emerald green na hawak ko ngayon is meron siyang photochromic technology 2.0 design. Ma-appreciate nyo yung stunning look niya, lalo na guys kapag tinapat nyo siya sa ilaw. Ayan, mag-change yung color niya from light na emerald green magiging mas green pa siya, guys, kapag ka natamaan siya ng light. Actually, pwede po ang paglaruan yung uh, design niya sa likod using the UV light, eh. Maka-form mo siya ng kahit ano. Ang cool lang talaga ng photochromic technology design nila kasi ang dami mong pwedeng gawin sa back niya. So, yun, apart from that, guys, makakita niyo yung napakanipis na po ng phone. Meron siyang 7.36mm thickness. Ito na yata ang pinakamanipis among all the Vivo smartphones. Very comfortable to hold. Plus, meron na nga po siyang photochromic appearance. So, pa, talaga makita mo lang po yung ganito sa Vivo lang. Talagang creative. Pinag-isipan nila yung design nila, guys. And now, guys, nakita nyo na yung camera performance niya, yung aura light feature, paano gamitin, yung design niya. Now, puntahan natin yung testing naman, guys, sa battery. Since, sabi nila, meron na nga siyang 66-watt fast charge. Ang bilis daw itong i-charge. Ipapakita ko sa inyo yung charging test ko kung mabilis nga ba. So, there, from 10% na kanyang battery life, tenes namin siya kahit 30 minutes lang, guys. And true enough, from 10%, naging 75%. So, imagine, 30 minutes lang, 65% na agad yung dinagdag sa kanya. In fairness, guys, ang bilis nga niyang i-charge sa experience ko. Talagang hindi pa aabot ng 1 hour, guys. So, fully charged na itong phone na ito. Now, sa processor nito, in fairness, hindi rin sila nagpapahuli, guys. Power din po siya na MediaTek Dimensity 7200 processor. New flagship level na processor and 4 nanometers din. Meron na po siyang 20 GB dynamic RAM. Plus, itong 256GB na ROM. So, ang laki ng kanyang ROM at saka yung kanyang RAM. Ito na yata ang biggest dynamic RAM ever sa same price range niya. Then, yung screen pa niya, guys, na 6.78 Full HD Plus Display. Napakalaki na po ng kanyang screen display at napakaganda. 
My eye care display pa. So, it cares about your eyes too. Ayan, sa gaming nyo guys, kaya smooth na smooth yung gaming performance ito. Kasi meron na po siyang 300Hz touch sampling rate. Eh. So, yung touch sampling rate na yan, isa din sa nakatulong kung bakit ang bilis ng response sa screen. Napakabilis at smooth din dalhin ng character. So, apart from that, may game boost din kasi siya. So, all-round audio enhancement. Meron na... 4D game vibration meron na din. So, hindi rin siya napapahuli sa gaming, guys. Napaka-smooth at napaka-playable din niya. So, yun yung napansin namin sa gaming performance niya. So, dito guys, sa newest Vivo V27 nila camera performance, masabi kong nag-improve talaga siya in all aspects. Especially the low-light performance since Gen Z's nowadays are really fond of night activities. Having this Aura Portrait algorithm feature is truly a game changer. It really adds up light for a better image quality in low-light portrait shots. And I also appreciate din guys itong hybrid image stabilization. It helps the video quality even better in low-light and it improves the stability. Hindi pa rin na-compromise yung quality kahit nasa low-light or nasa night. I'm also impressed of course the Photochromic 2.0 feature niya. It gives spice to the whole look of the phone. It makes enticing. It makes the phone edit elegant, very Gen Z, di ba? Kasi tayo mahilig tayo sa mga something new, something unique sa isang bagay. And not to mention by its performance, di ba? Where you can enjoy streaming online, scrolling social media, kasi ang gaan lang niya, nipis lang niya. Then, huge pa yung screen. Mention 6.78 inch, di ba? Na screen na may 120 hertz. Tapos, 3D curved screen display na. Plus, itong huge niya na 20 gigabyte na dynamic RAM. Na biggest dynamic RAM. Then, yung powerful processor pa niya. Na MediaTek D7200 processor. Or mas nagiging maganda yung game experience at mas magiging fun. So, para sa akin guys, it seems like you can have it all dito sa phone na to. From the camera, the features, battery, and then good alternative na rin to for vlogging dahil nga sa kanyang napagadang vlogging feature din. Plus, the great quality of the screen display for entertainment, the massive RAM at home for a smooth and seamless experience. Talagang masasabi kong this is a good phone for a daily use, guys. You can really use it anywhere. I can really tell this is the newest studio on-the-go phone for you. Talagang masasabi ko isa na to sa pinaka the best na phone na na-release ng Vivo this year 2023 guys. Now, how about you, Katekis? Anong masabi nyo sa performance nito? Feel free guys to comment down below. Pati na yung favorite feature nyo dito, i-comment nyo na rin below. So, yun na naman. For more information, puntahan nyo na aking description box for the availability and other prices. So, yun. I hope na enjoy nyo ang video na to. Don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you again, Katek. You still my next video. Bye!